Rock episode 17. This boy Isagi and Nagi. Oh my god, bro. Listen, them two boys really know how to work a play and how to work something through them, bro. They will not sit back and be drugged down with this bum. Okay, this this bum right here. Okay, they said nah. We about to work it through you. You don't want to work with us? We going to work it through you. Oh, God. But before we get into the episode and I give y'all my thoughts and opinions, y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Consider subscribing, dropping a like if you enjoy it. And if you want to see the full episode, it's up on Patreon. I appreciate y'all for watching. Okay, so he's not scared. That's good. Chemical reaction versus a balanced team. So basically, he's going to be trying to be out the way this whole time to make more gold. Okay, so he got routes. He got ideas on how to score. Okay, hold on. Look at him. That boy Swift. Borrow's not passing. Nah. <laughs> he ignored him. It's too forced. <laughs> Drop him. Couldn't get me gonna hit that. You know he gonna bank his shot. Yeah, that's in. That's in. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't stopping. Couldn't get me. Got me. Like, once he got his shot, he got his shot. Because he's selfish. Oh, my God. And we're not even in the same, like, terms of scoring it. Like, the whole process of this is to win. See, now he got to re-puzzle everything. Easy, he got a good adaptability. Update my vision of the field. What is this? All roster goals are stone dead. Christ, that's just, he dragging them to their death. Oh, Nagi got endless goals. The potential. <laughs> he said the potential. <laughs> like a flow of colors on the battlefield. <laughs> I ball to the level where I can sense Nagi's off ball movements. Honestly, that might as well play 2v3. He got too much control for your swiftness. Ooh! He crossed the foot. Yeah, and Chigiri's only good with top speed. So once they catch him off his speed, then Nagi's good for a score. He got to build that adrenaline speed back up. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's what I was saying about Chigiri. He got to learn how to be swift enough to catch up to Nagi's shiftiness he too shifty that's what i said they're gonna have to double team nagi huh? why would i listen to you <laughs> you gotta give them the chance to make plays bro that's crazy man like we need a backstory on him how did you get this dark veil like this him passing to isigi could essentially create more scores for himself but he not even realize might isn't good enough <laughs> <laughs> he said, we not going on possibilities, bro. If this straight possibilities, bro, I'll just handle this by myself. What? No, this man's sick. Dog, you can't even yell at him, though. Yelling at him is not going to do nothing because I know you can be so much better. He's, he's like, bro, I can lead you to your full potential. Just let me get you there. It's me. Oh! <laughs> nah, I feel that, though. Type of soccer you want to play is in my soccer. Oh no, this man is sick. Do what I tell you, bro. This man's a devil, bro. Like, he's a demon on the field. And I'm not even talking about playmaking wise. See, and I thought he was gonna be like, bro. I thought he was gonna be more like, I'm upset with myself, but I'm upset with myself because I can't even make a score off y'all. As far as like, if you pass me the ball, I just feel like I can't do it. But if I have the ball myself, then I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. I thought he was really going to blame it on himself, but he not taking the blame for this. He's just like, bro, y'all suck. Pass it to me. Now they're going to have to evolve to not use borrow and win the game themselves. You got to force a play through him, bro. If you never admit defeat, you'll never know true frustration. And Nagi knows that. He knows that best. He actually got... He actually got a taste of defeat. Bro, this man and his jealousy streak is crazy. I wouldn't even be sitting there having this conversation with him, bro. Like, steal the ball and bla blow past him. I'm only thinking about winning. Like, see, so you let him get past just by talking, bro. At least he in his blind spot. Okay, pass. He passed it back? Oh, no, they double teaming it. He's the glue. Rio's the glue. He's balancing off the offense and defense. It works best for him because they have specialized skills. He doesn't have a specialized skill, so he can just pass it. And versatile. There we go. Oh my god, now nah, Rio? Izuki, how you let that happen? Oh my god! Foul! <laughs> bro, foul! Bro, he just bum rushed his own teammate! Bro, how did Borrow not stop him, bro? <laughs> bro, he bum rushed past Borrow too? I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought Borrow might be a little bit stronger. But you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. He is kind of built like Reiner. <laughs> bro, big body. Time to give up on borrow. You just gotta keep thinking, bro. Adapt. Be versatile. Okay, wait. Maybe he doesn't have to match the strength of him. It's not about matching the strength of this play. 
You what, you got a Devour Ball? Okay, what? This shit is so clean, though. The faces that they be making is so clean. That boy said, I gotta eat the king to become the king. I gotta show him why he a little bitch. I gotta put him in his place. <laughs> yeah, you can't fit his style. You have to force him. I was literally saying that, though. So play your own style and then make him... Make him come to you or kneel to you. Change the way I use my talent. Make the most of your own play. Like Devourin's power dominate this field. Oh shit, he said me and Nagi in this. He said we going 2v3. He about to make that boy borrow jealous. Get a weary of Nagi. Just gotta make sure you get into a blind spot. Cause right now they're just thinking like, oh, you're gonna use Nagi to score. So if you get yourself open, Nagi can pass it back to him. Or they could get everybody to triple team Nagi and then he does pass it to ball for a score. The routes to Nagi are getting fewer and narrow. Yeah, cause they know they need to defend Nagi. I'll choose borrow. Okay. Beg for a pass from me. He's gonna make him beg? Target is the genius behind him. Oh, he faked him! He had to like he was gonna go to borrow. That's what he said. Follow the eyes. He might even ask for a pass back. Uh, bro, I swear this man's a ballerina. Like, how do he be catching it from these angles? Nope, Nagi's open. Oh, borrow! Oh my god, bro. How is gonna got me this strong? You know who opened. You know who opened! Isagi! Yes! The diversion! Yes! Ah, oh, shit. The blind spot. He said keep his eyes on him. They got to use ball as a diversion. Isagi like, bro, I'm about to beat a ball. <laughs> yeah, you can't change him. Yeah, you got to change yourself, man. The only way to make it happen is by changing yourself. Change the, by changing the world, you start with yourself. I need to become the light. Oh, my God. Isagi's the GOAT, bro. <laughs> he got him staring lost. Yes. Wait, was that a midfield shot though? A ball shot? Was that a ball shot? He used me. <laughs> and he did it better than Naruhaya, because Naruhaya tried to do it. Naruhaya couldn't do it. Nagi is chasing after him. Now you see why Nagi wanted to follow him. He's like, I'm going to learn by playing with him, bro. Yeah, keep playing the way you is. Oh, he talking his shit. Oh, Izuki talked to him. Oh, he caught him ass. Ah, he made him feel so pathetic with that score, though. Like, bro, we don't need you. Like, he basically saying, bro, we don't need you. We can score without you. We'll fake the pass lane the whole time and win. Oh, my God. Nah, he's him. Ah. Yo, he actually makes him think like, yo, Isagi's a king. Just remember his blind spots, man. You know he gonna pass. Yeah, you know they gonna pass. Okay, Chigiri setting it up. Yeah, ball gotta get up! Get up! Yeah, he getting physical. Because he getting tired of it. He getting sick. He mad. That's good, though. Nuh-uh. Let him have it. Just let him have it, bro. Because now he about to get physical. Oh, no. Rio too shifty. Wait, Nagi's there. He's letting go. Ah! He literally letting ball control the field so that he can come through with the blind spot, bro. He just waiting and watching like a like a hyena. He like he's stalking his prey. Mm -mm, too shifty. Yes. Ah, let's eat. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, they using ball so well. Phoenix, Phoenix, if you watching this, you motherfucker. You told me, Borrow, you said, you said he was going to change and get better. You said he's going to evolve, you motherfucker. You lied to me, but I love you, though. I love you, Phoenix. Oh, my God, this looks beautiful. The chemical reaction. Adaptability chemical reaction. Yeah, being dominated. It's really like a 2v4 out here. Almost, it's almost like reverse psychology. Well, that's what he's doing to Borrow, for sure. But he's like, it's, he's using their weapons against them. Like, he's making them use their weapons to their strongest core and then he used that blind spot to just come attack them yeah you can't control the ball you don't got no control so you gotta pass or you speed up first touch mm, okay okay she giddy he said bro i'm gonna let this top speed keep going oh my god nah bro leg wingspan is crazy bro this man balls on attack oh shit nah he too shifty too bro he too saucy with it right now he he's stealing from nagi loki yeah everybody behind this is that's it she giddy got it Chigiri got that one. That was good. They didn't make Chigiri evolve. Oh, scream! <laughs> My boy Chigiri. Yeah, he evolved. Oh, now they all getting lit off this right now. Dog, Borrow is literally just sitting in his, like, buried in the rubble, bro. Listen, nah, this episode was so good, bro. I just love how they was using Borrow to basically make their own routes, make their own plays, bro. And they was using the other team to even make their own plays. And, and it's just beautiful seeing everybody evolve but Borrow because Borrow literally needs to learn how to evolve and trust in his own teammates, bro. He not trusting his team, so it's like, bro, 
If we can't work with you, then we got to work against you or use you to work for us in a way that will help us win, bro. And Isagi, I'm so glad that he's like, bro, you know what? I'm done. I'm not about to get you to force you to, to be what we need you to be. You know what I'm saying? To be a part of this team. If you're not going to work it, fine. I'm going to work it through you. And that's exactly what Isagi did, bro. He didn't sit back trying to sit here and argue with him or nothing, man. And that's good because that shows, you know what? Isagi is learning even more and faster. Like, look, bro, I can't control how another person want to play but one thing i can control is my situation and how i move about this situation bro so i ain't got nothing but props for my boy isagi bro because that's what naruhaya said bro he was literally like bro you are that is your power adaptability you know what i'm saying and then on top of that you learn from so many other people you take so many things from so many other people just use that and he's thinking like okay what can i use from this situation to go about this in a way to where i can make us win bro and he found it bro he found his way um i'm not gonna lie I, I, I'm just curious to know how they're going to make these next scores. They're going to win this. Somehow they're going to win this, but I'm just like, dog, what is it going to be? How is this going to end? How are they going to go about collecting this win, essentially? You know what I'm saying? You know, because that's, really that's really what it all comes down to. How are they going to do it, bro? You know, because now that they see that um, Nagi and Isagi are evolving, that's going to make them play harder. But I will say, them turning Baro into this aggressive monster... I think it is going to work pretty well for them considering that he is rushing to like, like he bought the, I ain't going to lie, he might just sack somebody. <laughs> and that's what he needed to do to play against Kunigami too, bro. He needed to be more aggressive. Them making him mad like this, I'm thinking it's going to allow him to be like, you know, stronger in a way and be like, bro, I'm not about to be the one that looks trash on the team. Like, I refuse, you know. So, yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoy. Consider subscribing. And I appreciate y'all for watching.